Karsh Kali, the talented Indian-American world-renowned singer with the award-winning group Atash brought together a uniquely diverse blend of world instruments and sounds at the Hayat Regency in Austin, Texas to raise funds for the Austin Hindu Temple and Community Center. The gala had the musical performance by Atash and Karsh Kale along with the live auction of handmade paintings, sculptures and photography. All the attendees were taken on a musical journey with some soul-stirring musical performances. Atash was voted the best world music band in Austin for the past six years in a row. It combines master musicians from around the globe to create a powerful, worldly original sound that inspires people of all ages and from all walks of life to dance and commune in a celebration of life. While Karshkale is a visionary within the underground global electronica and fusion music and has been featured on Billboard magazine and has produced several film scores. Hi, this is Seema Gowil in Austin, Texas at Hyde Regency for the Karshkale concert. So Karshkale is an Indian-American musician, producer and a composer. In the past 12 years, as a solo recording artist, Karshkale has set the world of electronic fusion on fire and has helped to create a genre of new music and culture that continues to influence an entire generation. Kale continues to reinvent his ever-evolving sound and has established himself as one of the world's most sought-after fusion artists. Let's go inside and see some of his music. Well, uh, we've been trying to get Kirsch to Austin for uh, a while now. And uh, when the Austin Hindu Temple folks uh, approached me and wanted to do a, a, a nice, cool event, uh, we just kind of made it happen. It just uh, turned out uh, that the stars were aligned. Uh, Kirsch was available. We were able to get him in. And it's just going to make beautiful music. The Austin Hindu Temple is also a community center. And I think the premise was to expand the scope of uh, people that can benefit from what they do, but also just be aware. How did the love of music and the idea uh, started happening? When was that? In high school? Or you always knew you were going to be a musician? I or you were just studying to be an engineer like all the other Indian kids? No, the engineering thing never really happened, um, except for musical engineering. <laughs> um, no, I started actually playing music when I was about five, six years old. Um, and I pretty much decided then that music was going to be a major part of my life. Now, I mean, as far as deciding that it was going to be my career, um, that probably happened more in, in high school and college that uh, I was going to be pursuing music. I still didn't know what that meant. Okay. I could have gone in many different directions as a tabla player, as a drummer, as a composer. Or, so I decided to do all of them at the same time. <laughs> Very much self-taught on most instruments, um, but like I said, I mean, I never, I never really, besides tabla and drums, every other instrument I play, whether it's guitar or keyboards, or I play a little bit of santur, and um, are, is all kind of to explore the instrument and to be able to write within that instrument and compose within that instrument. I mean, I perform on keyboards, I also sing and play tabla and drums and things like that. But um, as far as 
focusing as a musician, it's still tabla and drums as my main instrument.